Hey, so welcome to this week's out of the week report. This is just a quick video on three things that if you're not doing these things, you're going to be losing a lot of money when it comes to Facebook ads and not just Facebook ads, but Instagram, YouTube, and any kind of marketing and paid advertising that you're doing. If you're doing these, these three things, you're going to be losing money and you're leaving money on the table and you won't be able to optimize as much. So I want to break these down really quick for you. Um, you can go off and start using them today in your business. And if you have any questions about them, just hit that reply button. Let me know what you're struggling with. And I'm glad to help you out or someone on my team can help you out with it. So the first thing that you should not be doing is blind marketing. And all this means is that you are running in and testing and, and launching ads without testing assets. If you don't know what works, you shouldn't be spending more than $20 a day on it. If you want to figure out what works, there's a really easy way to do it. <clears throat> and it's all about making something called a blunt post or a color block. And I can break those down really quickly and what they look like. Let me show you what a color block or a blunt post looks like, and it'll help you not market blindly. It'll give you a vision. It'll give you a view and optics on what's working and what people actually want inside your business. So I did this inside my business when I was trying to figure out what I wanted to call and name my program. And I did two things. I kept a very, very simple um, yellow back, yellow and blue background, kept it super simple. That's why it's called the color block, no ad copy, and just learn jailbreak ads and scale your business or join the predictable profits mastermind and scale your business. All I did was test these two phrases. They're very similar besides jailbreak ads and predictable profits. One of them won, and then I knew, okay, this is resonating more with people. People are liking this one more. I'm going to use that one. So if you're not doing something similar to this, whether it's this color block, just simple words, just a very, very simple video, and there's only one or two differences in each of the creatives, you're going to be flying blind and you're going to be losing money on your ad spend. So don't go in blind market. Make sure you go out there and test with five to 10 bucks come back and then start to scale the things that are actually working. The next thing you don't want to be doing is advertising and promoting a product that's not meant to be advertised online. Now, I'm not saying that you need to go out there and make a whole new product or service, but usually when you make your product or service initially, you're not thinking of paid ads or spending a ton of money on ads. You're thinking of just helping the people that you help, which is amazing. Now, like I said, I'm not saying that you need to go and change drastically your product. What I'm saying is you need to have a new angle for it. So what this looks like, and let me actually replace this real quick. Real quick. So instead of blind marketing, you want to test headlines, phrases, and more to see what people really want. Cool. Then instead of having a product not meant for ads, create angles and messages that work paid ads for your product. That's the second thing. Now, like I said, don't go out there and make something new. Just tweak what you currently have just a little bit for paid ads. So I had one of my clients come to me. They have a whole suite of products. Like they have a lot of different things. And a lot of them are like master classes or um, different trainings or different PDF workbooks. <clears throat> and we were trying to figure out okay, which one do we want to use? And none of them were really made in mind to be advertised this heavily. It was just meant to go to a warm list of people. So what we did is we started with testing these to see which one people really wanted. And then we went with that one, but we had to change it a little bit. So instead of calling it a masterclass, we called it a roadmap or a blueprint, right? People want to be guided down the journey. People want to see what other people have done and the mistakes that they've made and learn from them. And that's kind of how we framed it. That's one example of how we took a product or a service. We tweaked it a little bit. We adjusted the framework. We still delivered the same thing, but we called it something a little bit different and that helped tremendously. The last thing you don't want to do is not having or knowing about TOF, MOF, or BOF. And all this stands for is top of funnel, middle of funnel, and bottom of funnel. If you don't know what this is, or you don't have this in your business, you're going to be losing money on your ad spend. Now, to explain this very simply, when you think of a funnel, um, I want you to think about, you know, just the funnel of your business, not necessarily a marketing funnel, right? Just think of the overall funnel of your business. So just taking this really quick here, this, this funnel, you've got 
here at the top, let me do this really quickly. You've got here at the top, the very top of your funnel, people coming into the funnel of your business, right? And if you don't have specific marketing campaigns, structures, um, resources that you can give people specifically for your top of funnel, you're going to be losing money on ad spend. And the reason why is because there should be different things that you're giving different people along in the journey. Top of funnel is going to be something that is free, low barrier, um, very easy to opt in, very low maintenance, you know, something that's top of funnel. And just mainly you want to educate people and don't talk as much about yourself. Talk more about, um, you know, I, I would talk more in like the third person here. Right. And you could talk a little bit about yourself, but I, I would talk first person and third person here and don't tell them what they can achieve. People can get really guarded when you're like, hey, you can do this. You can do this because all they're hearing day after day is how they can achieve things. They start to get very skeptical when people tell them that they can achieve something. So instead, really focus on case studies, education and what you've achieved in your top of funnel stuff. Then you've got your middle of funnel MOF. So with this right here, what you want to be focusing on as well is let me switch it to blue for the middle of funnel stuff you're taking these people from the top of funnel you're taking them down excuse all my scribbling you're taking them down into this middle of funnel section and you're talking more to them directly you're giving them more call to actions as well and maybe you're even asking them to pay for something so in this step right here that's a dollar sign you can ask them for more money here because once again you've built that no like and trust factor and you've worked them down and that's the biggest thing here is that the whole point of this marketing funnel is building this no like and trust factor, right? This KLT, this is so important. And you can't build this unless you take them through a specific journey that you want to take them through. Then finally, of course, there is your bottom of funnel BOF. So with this, this is where you're really making a sale. This is where you're going to be giving them a very specific call to action. This is where you're really going to be talking to them specifically and showing them what they can achieve. And uh, this is kind of your bottom of funnel. So if you don't know what this is, hopefully now you do, go out there and implement a top of funnel, middle of funnel, and bottom of funnel strategy specific for your advertising. So let me break this down. What you should have is having a top of funnel, middle of funnel, and bottom of funnel strategy. So just to sum everything up, I hope that made sense. And... Once again, to go from what you shouldn't have, this is what you should have in your business. And if you need any help with this or you need any feedback or want me to look in your business and see how to implement some of these things, let me know, reach out. And if you have any questions, um, I'll see you in the next one as well.